Now getting your map ready to be uploaded onto the workshop, there's a few things you need to do before you do that. Uh, I'm going to show you how. So the first thing you need to make sure you do before you officially uh, upload your map and have your lighting all ready and whatnot is to go up here in the corner and where it says turn map scale, make sure it's set to auto. Once you've done this, you then need to bake your lighting by going up here to preview bake lighting. Bake all your lighting, generate photon map, and just give it a minute to bake all your, your lighting. After you've done that, you may notice that stuff looks a little bit more brighter or maybe a little bit darker depending on uh, how you've set your lights. This is how your lighting will look in the game when it runs and gets compiled. After you've done that, you then need to bake your audio by going to Steam Audio, create a probe box. This will then add a sort of box, a little line on the outside of your map. This pretty much helps the game understand where it needs to add reverb and whatnot. After you've done that, generate probes. After you've done that, bake reverb. Leave the settings as be, just click OK. This will then start to bake your reverb. This is very important, or you will just have sound playing in every direction, and that's not what you want. That won't feel realistic. Always bake your reverb every time you move a wall or add a new sound entity. After you've done that, then bake paths. Leave the settings as be. And there you go. You've baked your lighting and your reverb. Baking lighting isn't that important. It, it does not affect the game itself. It only affects what you can see in Hammer. It shows you exactly what will be revealed in the game itself. Now that your map's ready, go to File, Build Map. Now there are four different options here. A fast compile will basically quickly load up your map, putting everything in it, but giving you basically Gary's mode lighting. So this allows you to load up the map quickly and to test things such as triggers and whatnot, make, making sure everything works. A full compile will give you, I think, CSGO lighting, which looks pretty nice and just the same thing as fast compile, but a lot better lighting. A final compile gives you Half-Life Alex lighting and pretty much pushes it all the way to the Half-Life Alex standard. Only entities, well, it just pretty much builds entities. A final compile takes a very long time and I suggest doing it when your map is completely perfectly ready to be uploaded to the workshop. But until then, I suggest using fast compile or full compile, depending on how you want to play the game.